This is an astrotometry vlog, January the 1st, 2009. Happy New Year, everybody. And I wanted to um, discuss my foible in the last video, um, the one predicting the uh, a flurry of large earthquakes. Um, I am presently retreating and I've been using my portable computer, my new portable computer, and it has a monitor on it that with a different uh, contrast curve on it. And I'm just realizing that all of the coronal holes look bigger because of the contrast on the, on the monitor on the screen. And so I've been eyeballing all of my predictions and comparing basic, basically uh, based on um, the look of the coronal hole. And this brings up a, a much bigger issue. This is the second time this happened. This happened when I was doing core weather, when I upgraded my monitor and even written uh, the civil project people about it and asked them if they had changed the processing on the images. And of course, they, I don't think they had. Um, they think they do periodically. But this brings up a much larger issue with how I'm using this information, which is not really the way that this information is intended to be used. And so I need to... This, this brings up the much bigger issue of how I'm going to proceed with um, with the, the analysis and it really needs to be analyzed by a computer rather than by a person. I had uh, one of my subscribers offer to uh, actually go through data and <laughs> if I'm screwing it up how am I going to explain <laughs> to someone else how to do it and so but this is a very good process I'm, I'm glad that I'm glad that this happened. Um, and I'll, uh, when I get back to my other other place, I'll show you the um, the differences on the screens between the um, the, the very large uh, the very large screen view and the the small screen view. The the small screen has a much better contrast ratio, and so the holes look more defined and look bigger, um, uh, darker. And so um, I will uh, I will get back with everybody on that, but. Um, so if you look at if you look, unfortunately, this doesn't disprove or uh, whatever astrotometry. And I don't think people realize that I I don't necessarily want to be doing this. I just feel like I need to be doing it. And so it's like um, you know if I could if I could get this this particular project off my plate just by saying oh look it's not real. <laughs> I would do that. I would do that in a heartbeat. It's just that the 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 issue is you know, seemingly much bigger than I am. And, you know, it's, it's, it's this kind of thing. It's just kind of, it's kind of uh, commandeered my life right now. And so um, I, uh, I'm i hoping to pass it off and I'm hoping to uh, to be able to demonstrate it to uh, a great enough extent that other people will uh, will agree that this is, this is something that, that needs to have a bunch of, uh, uh, a bunch of scientific um, uh, research money and people thrown at it. And, um, I don't know. I don't know how that's going to happen. I don't really want to have any part of it, honestly. <laughs> but um, but I do feel sort of responsible for um, for at least getting uh, what I am am seeing and know about this the, these correlations into uh, the, the scientific uh, community so that it can be worked with. And um, so thanks for watching. And um, for now, um, I appreciate the offer. Uh, to analyze the data, but I think I'm going to have to write a program to do it. I think that I'm going to have to um, have a computer uh, look at the data and, and give the forecasts based on uh, an actual computer-generated model from the raw data, from the unprocessed data. And so it's it's like the, the reward for hard work is more hard work. And so, um, yeah, and uh, thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and uh, have a great 2009.